this is part two of my network setup. In part two, this, this is the hardware side of things. So this is my bedroom slash office. It's an L-shaped desk with my main machine. I've got an access point in the bedroom. My main PC runs a triple monitor setup. Um, I don't have a list of all the details of each machine, but I'll have a full list in the description if you want to check that out to see what parts I run with. This will just be a short video of showing you the actual components that run the whole system in my home lab. So this is the triple monitor setup. And over here we've been working on some um, stock take reports for the online store that we are going to launch real soon. So make sure you check that out for when that is launched. And um, I'm still running with the keyboard I purchased about seven, eight years ago now. Just the, I think it was the Razer Deathstalker. And I'm still running that today as I, <laughs> I love it. That's um, a spare ethernet cord I ran under the house as I had a second PC in this bedroom, which I recently put into a server chassis that I racked up in the network cabinet, which all up that will be server 4, as I'm not, I'm not too sure what's going to happen with that one, but can never have too many servers. So this is just the overview of my bedroom and office, where I do all my work pretty much. I think for what it is, it's a pretty cool setup, and I feel quite lucky to have it. And I know the cable management's um, shit, um, I just don't have the touch to do all that type of stuff. I, I need to get someone in to help me do that. I haven't really got the patience for that stuff. But here we're running to where the lab, network lab is. So this is the network lab. So this one's obviously just the monitor that can see everything. The two patch panels, two switches, backup server, then server one, Dell PowerEdge server and then server 4 and then the modem, DVR and then NAS and then the UPS So two patch panels as for, I'll just future proof the whole system. And I do plan to one day fill all 48 ports, which I think will be awesome once they're all filled up. And th these are two unmanaged switches. I personally don't have a problem with unmanaged, but a lot of people do, but it does a job for what I need and I recommend them. The I IBM server is the backup server for the whole system, which then also backs up to the NAS. Now this server one is my main Proxmox server, which was just the old s small form factor Acer. Then the Dell PowerEdge R410, which runs the business and the website, and all that type of stuff. And I think there's about maybe four, four or six terabytes of storage plus an SSD in the server. And then server four is the second PC I had in the bedroom that's racked up there. I've also got the optic clips in the rack just to have because why not and I am getting a second UPS really soon just for redundancy so that's the server rack pretty happy with it I do wish I got the big one but I can't complain for a home lab it's awesome and the noise it does sound very noisy but it's not as bad as it sounds in the video and these are, that's just a, like a little topology I made before I got the rack. It was like a little blueprint. I've done some port connections so I know what ports connect to what to disconnect any. And because I've got two patch panels, there's two documents there. Now going outside, this was re recorded about 11 o'clock at night. I ran a cable out of the shed underground to the rack. So I dug a little trench to hide the cable. I couldn't get it under the concrete because it was too deep, but 
then it goes under the stones, under the house, into the rack. Let's go, go into the shed. And here, that's my other network rack I used to run. And now here, the cable runs along the roof, and then drops down to the little 8 port switch that connects the MacBook Pro and this other workbench I have running in the shed. The MacBook Pro is, I think, 2011, so it's an old one, but it's just good to have there just in case I need an Apple computer. And then this PC I got off Facebook for 100 bucks, and that's pretty much all my hardware. So thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you in the next one.